Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was laughing, they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Sellers, and this is Dot. Can you put your head up here, Dot? Put your head up here. This is Dot. She's got two little sticks. And she's having sort of a strange morning today. There are times when she just, uh, actually I gave her her pills this morning, and so that's got her all unnerved. I mix her pills in with peanut butter. Mm -hmm. And she knows something's not quite right, so she's she's acting sort of suspiciously toward me. So anyway, this is just a brief message of hope today as we are on the Thursday uh, making our way into uh, the month of August and watching the temperatures climb over 100, 100 degrees and, and feeling that wet, uh, hot, sticky humidity that we get this time of year. Um, and that sort of is the definition of Houston during the summer at least. Uh, I was just thinking this morning, you know, I've, I've uh, done a lot of, you know, talking with parents and children and kids in Sunday school and the parents and uh, one of the things that comes up every so often is whether I think it's, they ask me whether I think it's uh, advisable uh, or even doable to have their children memorize uh, scripture. And of course, I am old school on that. I believe it's crucial that we memorize important passages of Scripture, just commit them to memory, because they come back to us during life when we need them the most. God has a way of opening us up to receive them with great power uh, when we find them coming to our minds in times usually of trouble or transition or sorrow. He still speaks to us. And so, yes, it's important to memorize Scripture. Have, have children memorize songs, too, because there are a lot of children's songs that are uh, have, have good messages about Jesus. And it's, a, it's important to do that. Now, the option, the, uh, the other side of that story is the parents who come in and uh, they say they were, they were scared when they uh, asked their children if the, if the children knew any prayers. And I guess they were going to check the Sunday school class out whether they were teaching prayers or not. But generally, you know, if children are not taught prayers or they're not taught scripture, uh, you get what you get. And there are uh, even older kids that I've dealt with who the only prayers they have memorized are God is great, God is good, let us thank him for our food or, you know, something simple, you know, like by his hand we are fed, give us Lord our daily bread, which is great to do that. But, but when it comes to expressing other things in prayer, sometimes they don't know uh, how to begin. And that's where scripture is so important. Uh, in, our God, in our lessons today for the Feast of St. Dominic, uh, our psalm is Psalm 51, uh, which is filled with memory verses that are important to us to, to memorize and remember and say often. Because there's a passage in Psalm 51 that says this, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving health again, and I will sing my praises with my voice, and I will rejoice with the bountiful spirit you give me. So it's important to do that. And so one that's an easy song, softly and tenderly Jesus is calling calling for you and me stay today and God willing God and I will see you here again tomorrow God bless you